Hello guys, welcome to a new video tutorial today. I'm Nilofer. So today we're going to be painting a bird, a small bird using the wet and wet technique. The brushes that I'm using today uh, is an eight number brush, a four number and eight number round brushes with a nice spin points and a liner brush. I have a velvet touch brush from Princeton. You can use any small rigger or a zero number or a two number brush whichever has a really nice thin point that will help you to get lovely details whenever we need. So let's get started. So if you want you can use a little you can use a piece of pencil like a very base sketching. Um, I'm just going to make a little base of the, the body of the of my bird. This will be a very light sketching, nothing too dark. All right, so I'm ready. Let's start sketch. Uh, let's start painting now. I'm going to use my eight number brush and wet the area. Color that I'm using for the bird is going to be. I'm going to try and make the bird look very light and colorful at the same time. Okay. It's a wet on wet technique, so don't forget to wet the whole paper. I have a nice. I have a lovely basic tutorial, a whole three part tutorial on how to paint and how to use, understand wet on wet technique. I've attached it on the top right corner so you can go check it out. This is a lovely cobalt color, lovely tur turquoise cobalt color that I'm using for my, for the head of the bird. Get some lovely cadmium yellow or an Indian yellow. See a nice bright yellow. I'm gonna let it here. If it blends, it's fine. Don't worry. Because I'm adding the strokes if you see very carefully, because I don't want it to become muddy. I want the colors to blend but I don't want it to become muddy. Now I've mixed my cobalt with a little blue, thalo blue and I'm adding it in the bottom area. Now let's paint the bark till the whole thing dries. I'm taking a, bra a bamboo brown from Mission Gold. You see it's a beautiful uh, brown shade. So I'm using this as a lighter shade first. So it's going to be overlapping the tail of my bird. not sketch the bark I feel like you know, I can make it up just directly with the paint so not sketch it branching it out a little let's go get some sap green this is our sap green and make some leaves. I'm going to take some darker shade and add an overlapping to it. Go back with a damp brush and pick up, merge some colors. 
to get this lovely overlapping with the shadow. Make sure your brush is damp, not wet when you are doing the merging technique. It's very important. Now let's add some character to our bar. So here it's going to be darker wherever the bird is. I'm going to to a shorter round brush. back some more little greens I think the bird has dried what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some details you can touch from the back of your hand if if your bird has dried but it hasn't dried so what I'm going to do I'm going to do a little bit of detail work I'm using a green scrape for the leg And to create some depth in the bird. So when the paper is a little damp, I'm adding this little details. Kept this part a little whiter because it just adds a nice touch of light. I'm gonna take some Indian yellow again and add a little feather. And that's it. My last bit of details in the leaf. And yes, and let's not forget to add a little white. Just take a white, Chinese white, from your tube directly, not from the cake. And add a little white dot on the side of your bird eye. 
ना विदार थैंक यू गाइज एंड होप यू गाइज इन्जॉय दिस क्लास दिस टूटोरियल एंड डोंट फर्गेट टू लाइक सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड आई पोस्ट a new tutorial on watercolors every other week so i'll see you guys in the next tutorial take care and bye bye